Hello, Reading community. We hope that you had a great week. This week, we're gonna share some updates around comfort dogs in our schools, COVID-19, RISE preschool screenings, and also a Friends of Reading Metco event. But this week, we're gonna start with some shout outs because I'm joined by someone very special here. This is Darian Morissette. If you don't know Darian, Darian is a fourth grader uh, at Barrows who has just done some really impressive uh, advocacy and leadership work in our community. Darian's gonna speak about it, but I would like to brag a little bit and say that Darian did recently win the Changemaker Award, was the youngest recipient uh, from the Institute for Nonprofit Profit Practice, and also was just named as a hero among us by the Boston Celtics. So I wanted to bring Darian in to be able to share with our Reading community about some of the great work that he's, he's doing. Uh, and his leadership has stemmed particularly a lot of work around Black History Month and Women History Month recently, but there's a lot more that he's doing to you know, kind of lead and advocate in our community. So with that said, I turn it over to Darian. Darian, it's so great to have you here today. Oh, thanks. Um, I'm, so, sorry, I'm super excited to be here. That's awesome. And to Darren, the first question I'd like to ask is, Darren, can you tell the community a little bit about the different projects that you've been leading and also tell the community how they might be able to find these projects? Well, I've done lots of projects, just like my Black History Month presentation, where I educated myself on, you know, 28 black figures throughout the month of February. And for Women's History Month, I educated myself on a couple of inspirational women throughout the month of March. I did a huddle up with Darian, which focused on Juneteenth. Juneteenth is the day that all slaves were free. I recently had a sit-down interview with a um, former Boston Celtics player, Cedric Maxwell, who faced segregation firsthand in public. And I'm the new Celtics junior reporter, so I had a chance to share a couple of facts. Here are two informational facts. Um, did you know that the Celtics were the first um, NBA team to have the all-African-American starting five? And the who contained of Willie Knowles, Bill Russell, Casey Jones, Zach Sanders, and... Um, Sam Jones. Um, fact two, did you know that Bill Russell was the first African-American coach in the NBA? Thank you, Darren, for sharing that. Those are, first of all, those are two facts I did not know, so thank you. Can you tell me a little bit about how in the community, how you came up with these ideas? Um, well, it started off as, you know, just a call with my godmother and I. We were talking and she wanted me to tell her about Rosa Parks. And so by the information I gave her, she was really impressed. And so she started to share that information with friends. And her friends started to want to know more, you know, about more black figures. I started to take the initiative and I did my presentations on Zoom and I used it with PowerPoints. And I used this book called The Fierce 44. Um, and after I got my research from the book, you know, I would go online just to fetch some additional facts. <laughs> and I've, I've been able to see some of your projects. I know the community has too. Can you tell us which is your favorite one? Well, all of my projects are, I love them all, really, but if I had to choose my favorite projects, I would have to choose, let's say, Henrietta Lacks, because she's both inspirational and she's also just a superwoman. She had HeLa cells, which are the most important cells in medical research. Um, so, yeah, that's why I like her. <laughs> And Darren, last question for you here too. So I spoke a little bit up front about the awards that you've won, the Changemaker Award, mm -hmm. the Hero Among Us Award, which as we know, it should be a huge honor to you. Can you just tell me what that means to you? And also tell me, so what are, hoping, what are you hoping to change through these projects? Well, um, it means a lot to me that I've been able to do all of this, and it means that I've been able to bring awareness to the world um, by doing something that many are that many are not, and that's bringing awareness to many different things. Um, and I think I can change the world because I'm impacting the community, and so make and I'm a kid doing this, and so it makes it feel as if you can do anything you want in life. That is awesome. So Darren, I would like to just thank you for taking the time to share some of the work that you've done. Uh, again, really impressive and exciting leadership and advocacy work. And I challenge the community to check out Darian's work. We'll have some links in the newsletter. Uh, I've learned a lot and I know our community can learn a lot. And Darian, uh, we all appreciate you being such a role model in our community. So a huge shout out to you, congratulations, and we look forward to following all of your successes as you move forward. Thank you. Thanks, Darian. Again, a huge thank you to Darian for taking the time to share out some of the exciting work that he has been, has been leading. So shifting into updates, uh, first update around comfort dogs. As you may know, the Reading Police Department recently announced that there will be uh, two comfort dogs uh, joining the force. 
uh, and these comfort dogs will actually be um, with our school resource officers uh, throughout the day and so they'll be spending the majority of the time in schools which is exciting for our students uh, and for our staff. So um, as we move forward to this process of welcoming the dogs this spring, there is a contest right now to help name the dogs. So any students who want to help name the dog, please submit your recommendations to readingcomfortdogs at ci.redding.ma.us with your name and your school name and the name. We look forward to seeing some of the creative names from our students and we're really excited to welcome the comfort dogs to our schools later this spring. Shifting an update around COVID-19, we thank all of our students and staff for the level of respect. Uh, we feel that the community has approached this transition to a mask optional environment. And we also feel fortunate that the numbers have been remained low over the past couple of weeks since the return back from February break. We did want to provide a couple of updates uh, and reminders around masks. First, masks are still recommended for students and staff who are unvaccinated. And there are still you know, uh, requirements in a couple instances for masks one being during a school health office, uh, the second being when students and staff are returning to school uh, after quarantine or a positive test uh, during days six through 10, and then lastly, uh, when identified as a close contact, and this is particularly important for families with uh, household exposure. So again, requirements for masks under those circumstances. Shifting into uh, two last updates, the uh, First one of those is uh, an update around RISE preschool screening. So you'll see here on the screen, uh, the Reading Public Schools will be offering preschool developmental screening on March 25th and April 8th from 8 to 12. The screening is intended for any three or four year old child residing in Reading that is currently not attending the RISE preschool program. Uh, on this flyer, you'll also see additional information about uh, children that are eligible for the screening and also links to sign up. And lastly, would like to make the community aware of a exciting opportunity from our friends of Reading Metco. You'll see here on the screen, upcoming is a roller skating party on Thursday, uh, March 17th from 5 to 7 p.m. And you'll see here on the flyer that is free to the first 100 people to RSVP, and people can register through the link or through the QR code. So we look forward to seeing many of our uh, community members out at the exciting skating event. So thank you to Friends of Reading Metco for sponsoring that. Thank you to uh, the community for a great week. We hope you have a wonderful weekend. Go Rockets.